My name is Mikko Hyppönen. I am the Principal Research Advisor for F-Secure. And I've worked with information security all my life. And F-Secure has been working with communication service providers and operators for more than 20 years. We provide security as a service solutions to communication service providers so they can secure the end users and the consumers' computers with our services. We're living in the middle of a revolution, technological revolution, internet revolution. This is easy to see when you look at where we are with a little bit of longer perspective. Everything is going online, everything is becoming computerized. And this revolution is only in the beginning. And this revolution brings us great benefits, but also great new risks. The fact is we are more reliant on technology than ever before. Crime used to be local, today crime is global. The same effect can also be seen in crises, conflicts and wars. And the fact is that today nations, as well as the infrastructure providers, such as operators, do have to worry about foreign nation states and their attacks into our networks. Most of the attacks we see coming from nation states are about espionage, but some of them are about sabotage as well. And sabotage during wartime means war. It means cyber war. And today, critical infrastructure is more and more in the hands of private sector and private companies. And that's why, for example, during the Ukraine war, private companies have been hit by attacks which are directly tied back to crises and war. I'm not a big fan of regulation. In fact, I think that technology regulation quite often fails. However, there are things where regulation makes sense. Now, I'm actually quite split about this myself, since I am a security and a privacy expert, and I do believe that technology providers should carry the responsibility of bugs in their code or vulnerabilities in their systems. However, at the very same time, I know that all technology companies, all software companies, including us, we deny any responsibility of bugs in our code. That's what it says in our end-user license agreements. So it's a pretty paranoid situation. But when you look at, for example, the regulations that affect um, your household items, they're already regulated that if your, I don't know, washing machine catches fire and your house burns down, the vendor is responsible for the damage. However, if the very same device leaks your Wi-Fi password, because today everything is becoming a smart device, then they are not responsible. And from the consumer's point of view, it's a little bit abstract how come these things are not the same. So there will be more regulation. Regulation for device manufacturers, but also, I think, regulation for communication service providers and for operators. Communication service providers have to worry about the security of their clients' and customers' networks, and they can't do that if they can't secure their own network first. The vast majority of the users out there rely on security services provided by their operators and by their CSPs. And for CSPs to be able to provide security, they have to have visibility into their own network. You see, Today, we cannot guarantee that all attackers would stay out of all networks at all times. We have to accept that some attackers will be able to breach security and gain access to the systems they're looking for. And this means we have to change our mindset from the old mindset where we try to keep all the attackers out at all times into a mindset where we accept that some attackers will gain access to their targets. And this means that we have to focus on being able to detect the breaches so we can react to the breaches immediately as they happen. And this is a hard lesson to learn. It's a hard lesson to learn because we've been years and years building defenses and, and building firewalls and gateways and filters to keep the bad attackers out and to accept that that work will not be able to do what it was built to do and to accept that we have to build visibility so we can detect breaches as they happen is a hard lesson for all of us to learn.
when we drill down to the root cause that was behind any data breach, any malware outbreak, any data leak, there's always only two options, two reasons why something bad happened. It was either a technical problem or a human problem. Technical problems such as unpatched systems or vulnerabilities or bugs in the code, or human problems like users using the same password everywhere, or users falling for phishing scams, or clicking on the wrong links, or opening the wrong attachments. And technical problems might be hard to fix, slow to fix, expensive to fix, but at least we know that they can be fixed. Because in the end, it's always just a programming error. You find the vulnerability, you find the bug in the code, you create a patch, you create an update, and you update all the systems. Doable. But how do you update humans? There's no patch for human brain. That's the hard part. And in order to secure our societies, to secure our countries, to secure everything, we have to be able to provide security that starts from the consumer level, from the home users, then to companies, to enterprises, to the societies, and to the infrastructure. And we have to worry about both, both the technical vulnerabilities and the human vulnerabilities.